Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. The crosshair passage for today comes from John 1.29, which says, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. The Daily Fire thought for today is that the blood of Christ cleanses me from all sin. Brandon, the word passages for today is Genesis 4.11 and verses 21 through 24. Genesis 6, 11, and then verse 17. Genesis 7, 11. Genesis 9, 6. John 1, 29. And John 6, 54, along with 1 John 1, 7. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is Ruth 3 and 4, Acts 28, Jeremiah 38, and Psalm 1, 1 plus 10. 11 and 12. The, script, the thing that we're going to talk about, the subject of today's message to you, is lifeblood. The blood of Jesus brings life. He said so himself, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day, John 6, 54. Drinking is, of course, a figure of speech, not literal, for Jesus was still alive when he spoke these very words. It means taking God's forgiveness through the blood of Jesus by faith and spiritually applying his blood to our need. Now, the true heights of Calvary's mountains soar before us. When the spear opened the veins of Jesus and the blood and the water came forth, the veins of God opened it too. When life streams flowed on the cross at Calvary, an eternal fountain of life and mercy began. After Abel's murder defiled the ground, another killing by Lamech is recorded. The weapon forged by Tubal Cain and the wicked deed glorified in music by Jubal. Uh, prompted more and more bloodshed. Abel's blood that had cried in solo from the earth swelled to the mighty choir of voices which God heard. We read the, that finally the earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. Genesis 6.11 So God declared and behold, I myself am bringing flood waters on the earth. Verse 17. And God called Noah into the ark, and all the fountains of the great deep were broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. Genesis 7:11. Swirling waters covered the earth to the mountaintops. Was the earth washed clean? Indeed not. Immediately after the flood, God told Noah that only blood can cleanse sin. God had much to teach mankind. How, whoever sheds man's blood by man, his blood shall be shed. Genesis 9, 6. There was only one way. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1, 29. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 1, 7. His blood removes it all. Some people think that the waters of baptism can cleanse their souls. As they pass through the waters, they imagine the religious ceremony has taken their sin away. But it simply cannot do that. If the waters of baptism could remove sin... Jesus Christ would never have needed to die such a cruel death as he did on the cross. But there was no alternative. Be free in Christ. Your sins are forgiven and you have a new life. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the Daily Ride and I'll see you on the next trail ride.